Nicole was held at the Daphne campus on September 28th. It is a student-initiated, student-organized, and student-led event begun in 1990. It is a global day of prayer intended to lift up friends, families, teachers, schools, and the nation. Hey Pelicans! Last week, on Thursday, October 6th, Quarter 1 came to a close. October 6th marked the end of Quarter 1 and the deadline for all tests, quizzes, and assignments to be completed. Together, members of the media team spoke with Baldwin County Virtual School lead teacher, Ms. Olson, regarding the October 6th deadline, encouragement for the new quarter, and information on academic intervention. Academic intervention continues to be in play. Be sure that you take notice and monitor your grades periodically. Grades can be accessed via the BCVE student portal through PowerSchool. Remember, academic intervention is here to help students. If you need help on assignments, please do not hesitate to ask your teacher or counselor for help. Ms. Olson, along with all teachers and staff at BCVSS, believe in you. Good morning, Mr. McKenzie. Good morning. So we came here to ask you about Gaming Club. Okay, well, I started Gaming Club last year as COVID began to wane and people wanted to start getting back out and socializing a little bit more. So I decided to start up Gaming Club, which I did at Robbersdale before I did it here. Yeah. And it was very successful. And it's a way for kids who don't necessarily know each other to get together and meet and have a good time. And we play all kinds of games, Dungeons and Dragons campaigns, Giant Jenga, card games, just about anything you can think of. There's something for everybody. And so we want anybody who would like to get out and socialize to come together and have fun with us. Yeah, that's awesome. So when do y'all meet? We meet on Fridays from 12.30 to 3, usually in Pelican Hall. On the last Friday of every month, we have video game competitions. Is there anything else you would like to add about Gaming Club? Yes, we're always looking for new members to bring new games to us. We like to teach people to play the games we already have, but if you'd like to bring games that we don't have and teach us how to play them, then that would be great. We teach and we learn, and we have a great time, and everybody that comes has lots of fun. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you for sharing. You're very welcome. Members of the Baldwin County Virtual School FBLA participated in the Walk to Beat ALS on Saturday, October 1st at the University of South Alabama. FBLA co-sponsors are Miss Joy and Mr. Stevenson. Miss Joy stated that the club members present went over and beyond requirements for the event and that she was very impressed with the participation. FBLA is gearing up for their next event, which will be to help in conjunction with the No Barriers Club. Stay tuned for more information. This is Ms. Anderson, who is the bookkeeper at BCVSS and has been working here for about a year and four months. One thing that her job focuses on is senior fees. It is important that you pay your senior fees because there is no way you can graduate without them. Fees do not only allow you to graduate, but they also pay for your graduation, including your cap and gown and more. If you are wondering where you can pay your fees, you can either pay them online at My School Bucks via debit or credit card, or you can come to the school and pay them via check or cash. If you wish to pay through My School Bucks, go to the school website and scroll to the resource section. After you click on My School Bucks link, you will be taken to the login page. Click the login button in the top right corner to sign in. Enter your login information. If you have any more questions, you can email Ms. Anderson. Her email is bsanderson at bcbe.org. So seniors, get your fees paid before time runs out. School pictures for seniors and underclassmen are scheduled for October 26 at the Daphne campus of the virtual school. Students who wish to have their picture taken this year should sign up for an appointment time. Specific instructions related to appointment sign up, prepay, and dress have been sent to you through your I Baldwin email to parent emails and through the Senior Class Remind 101. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Payne. The Pelican News Network interviewed Ms. Walchina, our Senior Counselor. Today we will be talking about our Senior Program. Ms. Walchina um, has been gracious enough to make us a program for seniors called the Counselor Connection Program where we can get updates. 
our senior updates for this week can be found on our Counselor Connection program, but here are some things that you may have missed. College Application Week for Alabama is coming up. A list of Alabama colleges will be released, and they will be waiving their fees for about a week through the 17th to the 20th, or that people can apply for free. October 18th is the College Fair off campus, and you can find more details on the Counselor Connection program. And October 20th is the FAFSA workshop where you can finish filling out your FAFSA application uh, with help from teachers and other staff. With any further questions, you can contact Ms. Walchina at this email. On October 4th, members of BCVS No Bears Club completed a volunteer orientation at the Exceptional Foundation in Daphne. The Exceptional Foundation Gulf Coast is a nonprofit that provides social and recreational opportunities for special needs communities in Baldwin and Mobile counties. The Novarius Club will also be having their annual Monster Bash on October 27th from 11.30 to 1 at the Daphne campus. They will come dressed up in costumes and have karaoke, games, and a bunch of food. Here are some pictures from last year for you. That's it for this week's announcements. This is the Pelican News Network signing off. Have a great week or the very best of a bad one. The choice is yours.